Hello. We Hello. here talk about mathematics education and particular problem solving. I'm Maria, this is Mariana. Hi. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to see you here. We've met before online and talked about early development of kids. So today I want to ask Mariana, when it comes to kids and mathematics, what are your dreams? My dreams are to, uh, to share the fun of it, because I remember myself as a kid and uh, I liked, I loved problem solving and I would like to share it with other kids. The fun of it, the love of it. So what is the love and the fun of problem solving? What's so interesting about it? And maybe it's uh, the brain working, I don't know. When, when I see the problem and uh, initially I don't know how to solve it and then I begin to, to think and to try different uh, methods uh, and then finally Sometimes <laughs> I'm able to solve it, <laughs> and it is uh, very pleasant. Yes, so, it brings joy. So this process of trying different things, of going through different methods, is it what? Or maybe, or maybe inventing new ones. Sometimes, yes, the process of solving. So sounds like a pretty creative process. You use the tools you know, but you invent some things and you also figure out yourself which method to use even if you know that. So you put yes. together this. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so it is not interesting to solve uh, like 10 uh, uh, equal tasks it is uh, interesting to find something new. Um, the, the people in this course, as other participants, a lot of people say just that, that repeating things too much is boring. The worksheets are boring. <laughs> so how can we help the kids, young kids, older kids, to experience this joy of finding new ideas, of making their own with the problems. What can we do for that? Mm, oh, well, uh, um, what, what I think is that, uh, first of all, we, we should uh, do them a problem that is uh, uh, not too easy, but not too difficult. So they start thinking about it. And uh, the second part is uh, very difficult because uh, we should not interfere or should interfere as little as possible. <laughs> <laughs> you would think that doing something is hard, but you are saying not doing things is hard, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> yes. So Sometimes it is so because... Uh, Yes, interfering, it is a habit. So we help too much, right? Well, yes. We mess too much with kids. So, uh, and uh, um, how can we stay back? How can we not interfere? Well, maybe observe uh, what uh, the child is doing and uh, concentrate on observating because uh, sometimes uh, it is uh, mm, this is a, a very precious process as as far as i see in other in other kids also in myself and uh, also remembering that uh, i myself don't like to be helped in, in the inside the process when I'm deeply involved. So what I 
here is you say the solving of the problem, the way people work, the way kids work is interesting. It's precious. Yeah. So instead of trying to do our thing, we can observe like quiet bird watchers. We observe yeah. this interesting, precious process. We maybe take notes even, but we don't mess with it, right? Not yes. necessarily. Yes. So yes. Uh, we we are more uh, we are more like naturalists, like uh, explorers, observing something interesting <laughs> and yes. precious. And appreciation that it is precious. That's what can help us to observe it. Okay. Uh, and the first thing before uh, not interfering, you say not too hard, not too easy. And that's what we are trying to do in this course because it's uh, almost impossible. It's very hard to find problems that are just perfect for you. But we are saying maybe we can change problems maybe we can arrange groups of problems that have different levels or maybe we can even invite kids to to change problems for themselves yes that would be great so um uh, who will you be working with for the course oh well first of all my son and uh, the son of my cousin um, they call it <laughs> Well, and my cousin herself, because she also loves problems. And uh, then, uh, now we are in the country, and uh, there are um, some, some other kids who play every day with my son, and I'm going to invite them to play this, to play math. Like a math play date. Yes. Okay. Yes. So well, maybe they are... Um, a bit bored by by their school, so maybe I will say something like, no, I don't know, a play date of uh, funny games, uh, funny tasks, avoiding the word math. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, some people stole this word. Now it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bad word. It's a four-letter word. <laughs> 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 okay. So... Um, these are kind of my questions. Say uh, hi to whoever came. <laughs> yeah. And um, um, you. Hello. Hi. I'm. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> okay. So. Mm, th um. Now, now that we talked about dreams a bit, do you think, do you want to learn to do anything in this course or in this activity? Is there a particular skill you'll be working on? <laughs> yes, uh, mostly the skill of um, adjusting the problem to be to be perfect for a, for for a student. Not to be too simple and not to be too difficult. Um, so, what uh, have you done that before? Have you adjusted problems? Yes, uh, but it was like uh, intuitive uh, without technology. When I was uh, taking some problems uh, from ever anywhere and. Uh, when I saw it was uh, too difficult, I was making it too easier for my son. Uh, we want to get together some ways people adjust it. It's still intuitive at this point, but we want to research so it's more of a craft than an, an art. Uh -huh. <laughs> so that's the goal here. Okay. So these were the questions I wanted to explore. Uh, do you have questions or ideas, anything about this course? Um, no, well, just uh, practical questions. How will it work? Okay. The idea, I like it very much. Thank you. So
So uh, in practice, we sent the first set of problems yesterday. It's a PDF document. And now we are discussing how do you plan to adjust them. So put up a comment with your plans. What do you think of doing? Uh, how okay. will you hide mathematics from the kids, <laughs> from the friends? How will you not hide it maybe from your son or your friend who will be working with you? How will you change things? So just put some plans up this week and okay. next week share stories, how it went. Oh, okay. Okay. Does it make sense? Yes, yes, it makes sense. So share plans, then share stories. Share ah. plans, share stories. That's what we'll do. Oh, okay. Okay. Make a just easy structure. But then we'll <laughs> analyze what happened, of course. What, what people uh, needed to do. Yeah, okay. And the stories are shared uh, in the written way, or do we talk about them? We write? videos for example and put them online <laughs> you can uh, take photographs and explain them you okay. can invite kids to, to share you can write text just to share that so in any medium you want ah, okay okay just put something online so people can find it <laughs> <laughs> right? Ah. Because it's uh, for uh, for everybody. Everybody will be share stories. Sharing stories. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Wonderful. Let's have some adventures. <laughs> Let's have some adventures. Okay. Thank you, Maria.